Hello. Good afternoon or good evening. My name is Mr. Wifford, your child's math teacher this year. First and foremost, let me say thank you. Thank you for taking out your time, time out your day and out your schedule to watch this video. I am honored to be working alongside you this year to help your child learn. For some parents watching, I have the privilege of teaching your seventh grade child. And for others, I have the privilege of teaching your eighth grade child. And I must say your children are very bright and I have the pleasure to teach them this year and the privilege to teach, you, teach them this year. I know this year is not like any other and that to succeed, we will need to rely on each other like never before. Even with the challenges we face, whether it's technology or COVID, we're gonna get through this. Just like our district says, we are CI strong. Um, to start off, I wanna look at a worksheet that I created just for you that you can access on your own uh, and print it out underneath this video, whether it's in English or in Spanish, so that way you're able to um, better understand our class procedures a little more. Once again, welcome. Maybe your child's in my seventh grade math class. Maybe your child's in my eighth, or they're in eighth grade in my math class. Um, my name is Mr. Wilford. I'm a mathematics teacher. Um, not only that, but I'm also a, a Reed uh, alumni. I went to Reed, I graduated from CI. My contact information is right here, mwoodford at centralislip.k12.ny.us. And you can leave me a message on the actual phone if you call 631-348-5000 with my extension 5847. My contact information will be put up later on as well. But I just want to proceed to let you know what your child will be learning this year. So we're going to learn, whether in math seven or math eight, how to make sense of math problems, word problems, as well as algebraic problems, reason abstractly, construct some viable arguments, uh, use the appropriate tools, as well as attend to precision when we're dealing with math problems. Uh, your child is expected uh, to be on time, seated with materials out, when the bell rings. F cell phones may be used, but not as calculators. This also goes for students who are virtual and at home. I expect them to be on time in front of their computers, logged into our virtual class two minutes before the class starts and have the materials out in front of them ready. We should respect each other, respect their classmates, the room, the teacher, and this includes appropriate language. Obviously, in person as well as even virtual, students should be mindful of what they're saying. I don't mind disagreement or what, uh, as we begin to clarify on topics, but let's use the appropriate language to do so. Raise your hand for permission to speak, leave the room, or anything. Always do your best, never quit, be positive, and keep trying. Extra help time. So a lot of our students are trying to figure out, okay, if I need extra help, how can I get it? Just so you know, parents, on Friday, we will have extra help during that time. During the student's normal class time, they can log in. I take attendance, I ask if there's any questions, I see if students need additional help, and that's the time for the students to come with their questions, so that way I can give them maybe more of a one-on-one -on -one personal time to help them. What they need to bring in order to be successful in this class is they need their calculator. They need a TI-30 XII. They should bring a binder or a folder. Reason is every unit is going to be given to them as a packet. They don't need to hand me back the packet. It's optional to get the packet. Um, but I suggest it so that way you could do the math work um, on paper and then take a picture and upload it onto Google Classroom. Pens and pencils, obviously, as well as a highlighter for when we work on word problems. How will your child be graded? They'll be graded 35% going to attendance and participation, homework 25%, testing quizzes 20%, and accordingly at the end of the quarter, which is gonna count for 20% of their grade. Delta Math is an online homework uh, website that I use, and they get homework on there bi-weekly, which is every two weeks. The website is down there, www.deltamath.com. And it's the same login they will use to get into their Google Classroom. All right. Um, all assignments and notes can be accessed on Google Classroom. If a student loses the material, if they got a hard copy, they can always download and print it at home. 
Um, I would suggest if they're virtual, they can always come to the school on Fridays and pick up the packets, the unit one packets, unit two, whatever unit we're working on. Specifically to you parents, I made a Remind app uh, text message to try to keep you aware of what's going on. Uh, you could text this number 81010. For my seventh grade parents, the message that you should type in is the at symbol Mr. Wood F. And for my eighth grade parents, you can text 81010 with the message at Mr. Wood F O R. That way you'll be aware of upcoming tests, upcoming quizzes, assignments. I even may send out an extra credit reminder saying, hey, just so you know, your kid can take a picture of them creating a snowman outside and get extra credit points for it. This is how our class, what the, your, your child needs to be successful in our class, as well as how our class is running throughout the year. Now, I would like to take a few more minutes just to show you Google Classroom as well as Delta Math just to allow you to understand maybe a little bit more of that platform, if that's okay. First, let me start off by showing you Google Classroom. Now, I'm gonna show you it from a student's perspective, so that way you have a little bit more understanding of, um, of, of what they see when they log in. So this is the Google Classroom page here of a student. You can see they have all their classes here for, my video, obviously, I'm going to focus on our math class. When you look at the math class, and that's me, Mr. Woodford, you'll see our, our, the title of the class, the period that they have me. Um, and what you'll also see is a little icon. Now, this icon is on every single class. I'm going to start off by talking about this icon because I want you to know something about this icon. It's going to take you directly to your child's assignments. And, and before I go there, you'll notice that they have a, a notification here telling them what is due today. So if you see stuff that's due today, you'll be able to look on here as parents and say, did you complete your assignments? And see if they completed their homework, classwork, or exit slip for the day. Let's click on this icon so you can see what I mean about looking at their assignments a little bit more. Now for this student, you'll see right away at the top right is their grade, what they have in total. That is what their grade is right now in the class. In addition, if you scroll down, you'll see every single assignment that's given, whether it's a test, quiz, participation, extra credit, homework, and you'll see if they turned it in, if they got a grade for it, or even if they are missing the assignment altogether. All right, this is letting you know when it was given, the date, as well as when it was due. Right? This is a great place to go to see if your child is actually completing the assignments uh, as they're telling you they're completing the assignments. Their login information um, you, is their ID number, last name, at centralisub.k12.ny.us. And their password, as mentioned, uh, as I should mention, is um, the year they were born, the two-digit month, and then the two-digit day. That way you have access to your child's Google Classroom if you would like to see it as well. Uh, I want to show you a little bit more about Google Classroom. If you click on their actual uh, class, you'll see there's a stream. This link at the top, is where we go on every day. This is how they have their virtual classes. So if your child is like, I don't know how to get onto the virtual classes, they click on the link or on this video icon and they'll be in class live with us every single day. In addition, the stream is announcements every single day as well as a to-do list as what the kids should be completing every single day. Every assignment, every lesson has a video attached. So if I scroll down to the last lesson, that we did, you'll see that I did put up a video uh, lesson to go with it in case the student missed the actual assignment and needs to go back and watch it, okay? And of course, you can click on the classwork to see exactly those same exact assignments that you've seen before. Now, one more thing I wanna show you if you click on classwork is that the student is missing, uh, maybe he doesn't have the work. You can always print out the materials on unit one or unit two, whatever unit we're in, and the materials are right here for them to print out and be able to complete at home. I am not receiving any paper copies. Everything should be uploaded on here. So students do have the access and the ability to edit any of these documents, but I would prefer them to edit it on, write it on paper and then take a picture and then upload their picture. 
That way it's still able to show their work when they complete it. The next thing I wanna show you outside of Google Classroom is Delta Math. It's an online portal that we use, that I use to do homework and tests and quizzes on. This uh, online portal, just to start off, this is how a student logs in. And when they log in, they see this, this page. Their login information is the same as their Google Classroom information. So if they're like, I don't know my login, no, say it's the same way that you get into Google Classroom. The top right, you'll notice there's a calculator at the top here. That calculator is in case the student doesn't have a calculator, they can use this platform to do their calculations. And they can exit out of it by clicking on that X button. You'll see that there's a title, week one and two. Every two weeks, there's a Delta Math assignment. You'll see how much they have completed, as well as um, how much of each problem they have done. Now, um, what I would like to show you is if they click on the actual box itself, it will open the assignment, they have to click on the words. When they click on the words, it opens up the assignment and it asks them to find the ratio or to do any type of problem that they're doing. Now, in the case of the students having a hard time completing this assignment, there is a tier that I want to show you as a parent because I know it's frustrating to try to help your child but not know how to. If you click on this button that says show example, it'll show numerous examples that can help them. And they can keep clicking on it till they find an example that fits similar to their original problem. And when they want to go back to the original problem after reading the explanation and seeing how they completed it, they can click on the original problem and go right back to theirs. Now for some, that may help and for others it may not. For those who are more uh, visual and need actual teaching to do it, I also included in here a watch help video. That if your child clicks on the watch help video, a video pops up sp specific to this exercise and explains exactly how to do it so that way the student can be successful. Now, most of the exercises have these help videos, but some don't, but most do but every single one of them do have examples that they can look at and they can practice with. Addition, I want you to, I want to point out one more thing before we close and the due date for these assignments is always down here and the time in which is due as well. That doesn't mean I'm checking it at 11.59. I will not be checking your child's work that late, but I do want them to know that if they don't complete it by that time, it will be marked as incomplete or marked at whatever grade they left off at, okay? All right, so I just want you to, uh, I wanna thank you once again for taking the time to watch this video and learn a little bit about our math class. Okay, no matter what challenges we face this year, I know we're gonna get through them. I'm looking forward to working with you and helping your child learn math this year uh, and making it as effective as possible. Uh, my name is Mr. Woodford. Once again, thank you for entrusting your precious children to me. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. My contact information should be showing up on the screen right now for you to view. Uh, you can email me or you can call and leave a message on my extension. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.